Welcome back guys. Last video we learned how to create custom docker images. In this tutorial we will learn how to store and use our docker images in AWS ECR. AWS ECR is a container image registry service which allows us to store Docker containers for both public and private access. Public access means that anyone can access your Docker container images, while private would just require special permissions and an authorization to access those images. To access Amazon Elastic Container Registry Service, you'll need to search inside Amazon for ECR. Elastic Container Registry and once you click this you should be able to see your repositories in here there is private and then there is public um, for this demo I have uh, local and prod images here so let me click on one of them and as you can see here these are all the different revisions that I have for my base image so I'm just going to copy this URL here and now I'm going to open our Laravel template. This is from our last tutorial. If you guys didn't watch that, I highly recommend you watch that video first. And in here, you can see that we previously built our custom image locally and we used it here. So instead of using this, you could just use your URL. Let's go ahead and try to write make fresh and this will build all our containers. And actually I'm doing this for prod. So I'm going to do make fresh prod. All right, now that's done. If we take a look here, so let's scroll up and you can see that we used our image from AWS. And just to demonstrate, I'm going to open Docker and I'm going to open my API container in the browser. And you can see this is the Laravel default web page. All right, guys, before we get started, you will need to have AWS CLI installed locally. If you don't have AWS CLI installed locally, you will not be able to push your images to AWS ECR. So let's go ahead and open a terminal. And you want to write AWS, two dashes, and version. If you don't see this, so we're using CLI version 2, then you most likely don't have it installed. To install this, you'll just need to Google AWS CLI install. And it should be literally the first link in here. Just follow these instructions for Linux, Macs, or Windows. Once you have the AWS CLI installed, let's go ahead and pull our sample base Docker image. We built this in our last tutorial. So let's go to Google, search for Imad Zamut GitHub and should be the first link. This is my GitHub account. You want to go to repositories and from here you want to find PHP FPM engine X base image. The link is in the description. Click here and go ahead and copy this URL. Now we're going to go to our terminal and we're going to clone our repository. So I'm going to write get clone and I'm going to paste our URL. Let's go ahead and go inside our PHP FPM Nginx base image. And let's open this in visual code. Now let's go to our make file. In here, we have two images that we're going to be building, one for local, one for prod. The local uses this Docker file. The prod uses the regular Docker file. And I have provided you guys with the make build all command that will build them both at the same time. So I'm going to write make build dash all. Make sure you have Docker running. Once that's done, let's go ahead and open our Docker interface. And you want to go to images. You want to make sure you see both of these containers, local dash Laravel base image, prod dash Laravel base image. All right, guys, now let's go ahead and click on one of these containers. Let's copy this name here, local dash Laravel dash base image. Now let's go ahead and go to our browser. We want to log in to our AWS account. So you want to search for AWS console and should be the second link. Sign into console. Now in here, you want to search for ECR should be the first result. Elastic container registry. Let's go ahead and expand the side navigation and let's go to repositories. Let's create a new repository and we want to paste the same name here, local dash Laravel dash base image. And in here, let's actually make it public just to make it easier. Otherwise, you will need to authorize. Scroll down all the way and let's just go ahead and create this repository. I'm going to do the same thing, but for prod. So public, let's paste this here and let's change local to prod. This is for our second container. Scroll down all the way and click create repository. 
All right, guys, now we're going to push our local containers to our repositories. Let's click on one of them. And in here in the top right, you should see this view push commands. If you click here, you should see all the different commands that we will need to run to push our image. Just a side note, you do need to have AWS CLI installed locally and you do need to have it configured. Make sure you have it configured. If you guys don't know how to configure your AWS CLI, let me know in the comments. I can quickly create a video for that. For now, let's go back to our visual code editor. And in here, the first thing I want to do is I want to adjust this variable base image name. Let's copy this and paste it two times. And I'm going to say this one is going to be local underscore base image and this one's going to be prod underscore base image and i'm going to add the correct name here local dash laravel base image and this one's going to be prod dash let's copy the first one and let's fix our build local step here we're gonna replace the variable name then erase the local from here let's do the same thing for the prod so the first command I want to add is aws dash login and this is going to authenticate us with aws Let's go back in here and you want to copy this here, the first command. Let's go ahead and paste this here and I'm going to add the at sign. So what this does is just make sure when we run our make command, we don't display the commands that we are running. Let's give this a try. I'm going to write make AWS dash login. Oops, looks like I forgot to save my file. Let's try again. And you should see login succeeded. If you don't see login succeeded, you most likely don't have AWS configure. Now, the second command that I want to add is push dash local image so this is going to push our local image now let's go back to our browser and we want to copy the third step the second one is just building a docker image we already did that let's copy this one here and let's add it change this to add sign let's do the same thing here all right now see here this name we have it coming from this variable so let's go ahead and replace this with our variable name let's copy this and let's do the same thing here, same thing here, and let's give this a try. So I'm going to say make push dash local. All right, once this is done, let's double check that it worked. So I'm going to refresh my local repository and you should see your images in here. You can copy this URL. Now let's go back here. Let's copy this command and let's make one for our prod. It's going to be easy. Just rename local to prod. This one to prod as well. And we just want to change the variable name. So let's copy the prod one. And to make life easier, I'm going to copy the build all command and make a similar one, push all. And in here, so you can see running make file, the dash j flag will make us run. So the number two, these two commands together. The first one's going to be push local, push prod. Let's give this a try. Make push dash all. All right, guys, looks like this is done. Let's go back to our browser and let's go to our repositories. Let's check out the prod and you can see here that we have our image. Let's go back to repositories and in here, guys, you can copy this URL and you would use this as your base image for your Docker builds. You don't need to spend a long time waiting for this to build locally every single time. It's already done for you once. If you guys remember from our last tutorial where we built our Laravel template, we used it like this, so from your base image name as PHP. So instead of doing this, you would paste your URL in here. And that would be pretty much it. I hope you guys found this tutorial useful. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with my latest training videos. We'll see you guys on the next video.